Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday and um, for today's video I'm kind of taking you through a day, a Wednesday in my life. Uh, Wednesdays are always very popular here at my house because it's Pizza Wednesday and Pizza Wednesday means homemade pizza, fresh homemade crust, the works, and homemade chocolate chip cookies. So I just kind of wanted you to come along and see what I do on a Wednesday at my house. When I make my pizza crust, I use two flours. I use double zero flour and I use all purpose flour. I use more of the double zero flour. And the reason for that is double zero flour has a finer grind and it has a lower gluten content than all purpose. And that is what creates that crispy, crunchy, chewy crust that you get when you have pizza. And we like thin crust pizza at my house. So it's perfect for that. My secret ingredient to my pizza crust is a half cup of sourdough starter, believe it or not. It really, really gives the pizza a phenomenal flavor. This is my sourdough starter. Her name is Patience. I've had Patience now for two and a half years. I use her every week. Yes, people name their sourdough starters. And the reason I named her Patience is because when you first are making a sourdough starter, it takes a lot of patience. So the pizza doughs come together pretty nicely. And so all I'm gonna do is cover it. And when we're ready for pizza tonight, it'll be ready. Now let's make some chocolate chip cookies. Such a favorite in my household. It's just a basic chocolate chip cookie recipe. I'll leave a re I'll leave a link to my chocolate chip cookie recipe as well as my sourdough pizza crust recipe in the description below. But the one thing I do want to say about that I did change up about my chocolate chip cookie recipe is I use one and a half cups of brown sugar and a half cup of regular granulated sugar. I I, I like brown sugar because it just gives so much more flavor. Now for Pizza Wednesday, I only make, only, I only make six chocolate chip cookies. Three for me, three for my husband. I know, three cookies, but it's like our cheat day. So um, I'm gonna scoop out six cookies onto my cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper and cook them at, or bake them at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Works every time. And the rest of the dough, I'm gonna scoop out and I'm gonna freeze it. That way next week for Pizza Wednesday, I don't have to make chocolate chip cookies. I can just get six out of the freezer. Now the chocolate chip cookies are ready. The hardest thing is gonna be waiting until tonight to eat these. They smell amazing. Well, it's that time and look at this mound of goodness. Our pizza dough. It's just been rising all day. Now my Pizza dough cooking method is a little unorthodox, so bear with me. <laughs> Here's what I do. I have a pizza pan with holes that I've sprayed with nonstick spray. And I'm gonna take my dough, I'm gonna kind of just punch it down. See how it deflates just like that? And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it out onto the pizza pan. Now, what I do, I do not roll it. Please don't roll your pizza dough, people. I just kind of spread it out like this. There we go. Now, this still has a lot of air in it from rising all day. And that's what's going to give it its really chewy, crispy crunch or crispy chew. So I have this, I don't even know what this is called. It's like a, a spiky roller. I got it off of Amazon and I'll leave um, a link to that as well. But what this does, we're gonna go like this in the dough. And what it's doing is creating holes because what I don't want to have happen is for this pizza crust to rise up like bread. So my oven's been preheating to 550 degrees. I usually start it preheating about 45 minutes to an hour before I wanna cook because it takes that long for it to get up to 550. But um, I'm gonna pre-bake my crust five minutes. Here we are. So this is the first bake, five minutes. And now I'm gonna put on our toppings. Now first I'm gonna put on our, our pizza sauce. And this is just a guesstimate. I am a little heavy handed with the sauce, 
but that's just my personal preference, so it's up to you. And as far as what I put on my pizza, I usually decide that the day of. It's, oops, <laughs> it's kind of whatever is in my refrigerator on that particular day. For today's pizza, I'm going to be using some uh, red pepper, some scallions, and turkey pepperoni. And the cheeses I'm using are provolone, and this is a really a lifesaver. I get the sliced provolone, and I just put it on like this. Sometimes I use mozzarella, but today I'm going to be using provolone. Just a little extra flavor. I know, this is pretty unorthodox. Some of you may be cringing. <laughs> Next, I'm going to put on the turkey pepperoni. Now I'm going to scatter around the red pepper and the scallions. I'm saving the parsley for when it comes right out of the oven. Now on top of this, I'm gonna be adding some quattro formaggi, really great flavor. I'm just gonna sprinkle that all over the toppings. If you haven't gotten your fill of cheese, I have some grated Parmesan that I'm putting on as well. Just like that. Can't have too much cheese, that's for sure. I have a pizza stone in the oven. So I'm going to, with my pizza peel, I'm going to take the pizza off of this onto the pizza peel and now we're going into the oven onto the pizza stone for another five minutes. Here we are. Look at that pizza goodness. And now I'm going to sprinkle on some parsley for some added freshness, a little extra flavor as if we really need any more. Here's our pizza, and now I have to go call the master pizza cutter. We have our master pizza cutter here, and I want you to listen as he cuts the pizza. That is a crispy crust. Well, thank you for joining me today on the day a day in the life on a pizza Wednesday with Wendy. <laughs> so I have my pizza. I'm going to go and enjoy my pizza with Michael. And then chocolate chip cookies. You'll notice I have them in two stacks of three, one for him and one for me. So I really appreciate you stopping by and coming with me on my journey of pizza Wednesday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.